So where have the New York stories gone? Don't worry, they will be back soon. Just as soon as the summer heat here in New York has subsided. I just don't do very well in the summer heat. And here in New York it has been in the 90s up until recently. Today we get a good dousing of rain. And from that point forward, it appears that the weather will start to drop to below 80 degrees. That is much more reasonable to be going outside to do some filming. Now, as I said recently, moving forward, I am going to be focused more on telling stories. However, I also have quite the audience that enjoys the walks around the three neighbourhoods closest to me. The way that I will break it down is that I will post a story on a Thursday and then perhaps a local walking video on maybe a Monday or so. That way, if you are just coming for the stories, then you will know which videos to watch. With that said as well, I might actually try and do two stories a week if I can pull it off. While that may sound like an adventurous task, what it would actually mean is that instead of posting a 14 minute story, I would break a video down into two separate stories. I don't. None of you would know this unless I told you, but I've been doing that for the last month already. I have the old school thought process. If someone is going to watch four minutes of a 14 minute video, then that's 10 minutes of wasted footage. If I break that down into two seven minute videos though, that will mean I will get eight minutes of watch time for the same 14 minutes of footage. Simple math, less is more. Plus, it will also mean posting more often to the channel. It is of course very hard to judge regardless. Any YouTuber who is trying to pave their way has to go through the constant wave of people commenting who aren't even watching your video. I really wish that YouTube would only count the retention rate of people who actually watch at least a minute of your video. Heck, in fact I think that they should only allow comments if someone has actually watched three minutes of your video. That sounds fair, right? They do that for new subscriptions. Maybe it is about time that they did that for comments as well. So next Thursday I will have a new story for you. And if all goes well, then I will have at least one new story every week after that. I'm also planning on doing a live stream about a week from now, just to see how it goes. My plan is to set up on the side of a New York road somewhere and talk to you all live as people and traffic pass us by. If it goes well, and let's be honest, if I get 100 views total when all is said and done, then that is good for me. Then I will look to do more live videos in the future. I can imagine setting up in various places around New York City for people to watch live. Until I try it though, I won't know if it is successful or not. So hopefully next week, I can just use an intersection in my local neighborhood as a test run and see whether or not people like it. The whole idea might not seem like a world beater, but I do like to perform from behind the camera like an old time radio host. If you don't try some of it out, then you will never know if you like it or not. The only time that I envision a problem is going to be perhaps at the end of the year. If all goes well in COVID land, then I do hope to travel in January. It will either be to England, Eastern Europe, or South Korea that I go to, with South Korea leading the list of destinations that I want to visit first. That will all depend on the rules of each country, though. Of course, I can pre-record stories for the Thursdays that I am away, but it will also mean that I will have footage from other countries. From previous experience, I understand that could be harmful to a channel. 
My Japanese videos, for example, have no long-term retention rate whatsoever. And they weren't watched very much to begin with either. You know when you click on the more data button for the last 48 hours? There is never a single Japanese video in the top 30 most viewed in the last 48 hours. There is one video that does appear, and always has done, and that is the Japanese made video that I recorded. But even that one has its days numbered. Just this past week, my Gangster's Graveyard video has become my most watched video with 3,500 views. And others are closing in on the Japanese made video as well. So for the last month, I've just plodded along a little bit just to keep the channel ticking over. But the stories will return next week and then every Thursday from that point on. I already have my next trip planned in Manhattan with some great little anecdotes along the way. In fact, I have three stories already recorded. I just need to write the scripts for them and add the narration to them. Previously, I had mentioned that I was going to turn the Decalb Avenue video into a story as well. But don't worry about that. This video only covers Decalb Avenue in Bushwick, Brooklyn. I still have the remainder of the footage that was recorded on Decalb Avenue in Ridgewood, Queens. This video ends at the Brooklyn-Queens border. Look out for a live video at the beginning of next week. I would love to see some of you there for a chat. Bye for now, guys, and have a wonderful weekend.